Hey there YouTubers, uh, so I'm here with a video review for you of the Icy Zone uh, cup holder for wheelchairs, strollers, um, walkers. Uh, now, I say Icy Zone, I'm not actually sure if that's how it's pronounced. The company is I-S-S-Y-Z-O-N-E. And I want to state first off that um, I'm not being paid by anyone to do this review. However, I did get the product for free to try um, uh, so that I could do this review. So I just want to let everybody know that right off the bat. Um, I have been, I got the product, uh, you can see it's right here. Um, I got the product, I'll take it off my wheelchair later. I got the product uh, a few days ago and I've been using it since then and um, I have to say I really really like it. It's super sturdy. Uh, it really blends nicely if you can see with the colors of my wheelchair um, and um, most cups, uh, bottles, cans fit into it. I'll just give you a quick preview of that. Uh, and then I'll do it when I take it off too, but here's an idea of how sturdy it is. You can really put a lot of pressure and weight on it and it's not, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, so this is just a regular bottle of water. I hope you can see it fits in nicely and I can move around with it and it's not going to really go anywhere. But I also have um, some other things. I have this mug I'm going to try and it's got, um, there you go, little holder or um, cut out on the side so you could put the um, handle of the mug in there. And then I would suggest rather than taking it out this way, I would suggest taking it out this way only because it's a, a bit easier than trying to take it out with the handle. Um, also, I've got a small bottle of green tea. So, I'm going to try that out. Very nice. Fits in there really well. Can move around with it, no problems. And, okay, so I have this plastic cup with... Uh, show you we've got fish on it I've had this for years and years and again really nice fit you can sort of do spins or whatever I mean obviously if you have liquid in here and you do stuff like that it might come out of the cup but that's not really an issue with the uh, the cup holder it comes out nicely um, I do want to mention I have this Ninja Turtle mug uh, that I use pretty often. This does not fit in there, but it, it's a jumbo oversized mug, so um, it's because of the grips on the inside which are meant to hold smaller things in place. And actually I probably could, if I really, yeah, if I really tried I could probably squeeze it in there, but I don't want to do that. Um, however, I have a glass now, and it has a smaller, you know, come closer so you can see it better, it has a smaller um, bottom than the top, but this fits nicely as well, if you can see, very nice. And I also have a can of soda um, and this also fits really really well in here so again gonna move around not really gonna do anything not going anywhere very sturdy very good very sleek I love how it looks um, okay so now I'm gonna take it off so I can show you a bit closer and I'll put all those cups and glasses and whatnot in again uh, so you can see it up close. Okay, so 
this is what I was talking about. These are the grips on the inside meant for smaller things like, for example, this green tea. So they kind of hold it in place. Um, you can move this to hook it on 360 degrees. There's a spring in here, so when you want to put it on where you want to put it on, you just tighten this and the spring gets tighter or loosen it to take it off. The spring gets looser. Um, I want to show you this is the box that it came in. Uh, well, here's the front of the box, cup holder, top of the box, and then on the back there's in instructions on how to put it on. If you can sort of see that. Um, and so, as I said, I'm gonna. So, this was the one that didn't quite fit. But again, everything else I tried was good. Can of soda. The glass that has the smaller bottom. The plastic cup. This one was really nice. I mean, really holds it in there. Um, green tea. The regular sized mug. And again, I mean, you could do this with that too. I, I wouldn't do it with the, I mean, you have to use your own judgment as to, I mean, obviously you're not going to be putting it upside down anyway, because you're going to have liquid in there. But like, for example, this glass, because the bottom is smaller, I wouldn't, I mean, yeah, see, it's, that's the fault of the glass, not of the product. Um, this bottle of water. Again, you're not really going to have this upside down ever anyway, so that's not really an issue. Um, so, as I said, overall, I really like the product. It's sturdy, especially for the price. Great price. Uh, again, I didn't pay anything for it, but just looking at the price um, where it's available, it's a good price. For really sturdy, I mean, nice hard plastic. Got the grips on the inside the clamp here. Um, so my biggest issue, again, is not an issue with this, it's more an issue, issue with my usage. Um, so as you saw, I had it down here by my um, wheel locks, uh, because that was the only place I could really find that it would fit. Um, I initially tried putting it here on my, the back handle for somebody that would be, might be pushing me, and it fit there. I'll just show you real quick, so I'm going to tighten it up. It fit there nicely. I mean, it, I had no problems with it. Hold on. There we go. Um, except that And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's it's sort of in the way when I put it there. Okay, that's good. Tighten it a little bit more. So you can see it sort of. Let me move it back. There. Okay. So there it is, right there. And the problem is that when I push, my elbow's gonna hit it. Um, and I suppose I could modify my push to, like, move my elbow out more, but I'm just really not used to that, and, um, I, I felt that it was better to put it lower. Now, um, the issue with putting it lower is that, I'm gonna take it off again over here. <laughs> Okay, so the issue with putting it lower is that it increased the size of my wheelchair, essentially. So, um, instead of the wheelchair only coming out to here, let me put my feet back, 
with the cup holder, it's coming out to like another another few inches. And you may think that's not really a problem. And it might not be for some people, but it was a problem for me. And like putting it on the back it might not be a problem for some people. It was a problem for me. Um, because, so let's say I'm just sitting at my computer when I had this on the front by my wheel lock and I like to get close to my computer do typing and whatever uh, and rec recline a little bit, the, the, the cup holder was actually hitting my, um, the leg of my desk and also the computer a little bit. So in that sense, I had to sort of adjust what I was used to in order to use the cup holder. And again, that might be something that's not going to affect other people at all. Um, and also there's potentially if I, I could change, I mean, if I, if I wanted to, I suppose I could change things about the design of my room or my space or my desk or whatever uh, to accommodate that. But it was just something I happened to notice that was, that was an issue. Also, it effect, affected my ability to turn in close spaces. So I'm my wheelchair is the smallest adult wheelchair on the market. Um, borderline kid size wheelchair, actually. Um, so when I had this on the front... It meant that spaces that I was used to being able to turn around in easily, I had to pay more attention and be more careful. And potentially, that's up here in New Jersey. My place down in Florida is has narrower, narrower uh, hallways and doorways, so that could, I think, would definitely cause an issue there. But I, I again, I love the product. Um, it's sturdy. It's sleek. Um, I, 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 I was actually surprised how much I liked the product and, um, I could definitely see uses for it for me as opposed to everyday use, which I don't, I honestly don't think would work for me, but like when I've done 5k runs, I, of, I often wished I had, um, you know, a drink with me and I was like, oh, well I could, I could put it in my backpack, but then I got to reach in my backpack during the run. Or I, I did have a device where I wore something and I had like a little hose to attach. And that was, I mean, it was okay, but it didn't really work that great. But like having a cup holder right here, I mean, that would be perfect for something like that. Or, um, for example, if you're out at like a Little League ball game and you just put this cup holder on while you're there, use it when you need to. I think it's great. I think it has the potential for many, many uses or like at, um, if you're going to Disney world or Disneyland or something like that. I mean, you know, when the pandemic is not happening, but, um, really great product. So, um, let me just pause for a quick second. Cause I want to make sure something, Okay, and I'm back. So, yeah, I wanted to make sure that I mentioned it's I-S-S-Y-Z-O-N-E, the company. Um, I have a product link on Amazon. I'm going to post that in the details for this video. I also, there's a 10% discount code, which the company, company um, generously gave me. Again, not for me, but for any of you who uh, are interested in purchasing it. So I will post that in the description also. Um, just, it's Wheel Fortune is the discount code, So, but I'll post that. Uh, it expires August 31st. So again, really great product. Um, good price, sturdy, stylish. Um, I really love it overall. Uh, and, and I definitely will be using it uh, in the future. All right, so I almost just dropped it, silly me. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications and uh, make sure you stay safe out there. Hey, again, so I forgot one small thing and I wanted, wanted to correct that. Uh, it also comes with this hook, which...
I'm I think it's for strollers, but I'm not quite sure. So if someone could correct me on that. Oh, I just got a text message. Um, if someone could correct me on that, that would be great. If not, then I got it right. That would be awesome too. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and stay safe out there. Oh, and if you do buy it, be sure to use my discount code. All right. Bye-bye.